live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering the AWS Accenture Executive Summit. Brought to you by Accenture. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of the AWS Executive Summit. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We have three guests for this segment. We have Jim Phillips, Cloud Architect Mutual of Omaha, Roy Bacharach, Senior Principal Technology Accenture, and Brian Bohan, Global Business Lead AWS. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So we're talking about the transformation of the, the contact center, but before we, before we get started there, let's tell our viewers a little bit about Mutual of Omaha, uh, your business, your, your, your target demographic, and, uh -huh. and what you do. So, um, so Mutual of Omaha is a 109-year-old uh, insurance company. Uh, we have, um, our biggest market segments are in the senior health space and then in um, the, the life space. So we service customers with a wide variety of needs, every, um, uh, everything from Medicare supplement policies, uh, so we have like seasonal surges in business and things like that, to, um, to uh, people who are concerned about like how do they, uh, how do they prepare for their, their family for uh, their life insurance needs and things like that. So we've been around for quite a while. Predominantly, um, we'd been servicing our customer base through agents, and as that shift occurs, right, we've been looking at how do we provide a, a much uh, more finely focused uh, view of the customer, and uh, emphasizing that within our contact centers with the recent creation of our service practice. So it was really just this idea of let's, let's think about how to touch the customer in a different way, that that right. was really the business imperative toward this move. Right, so previously, um, we had this, this all started in, in 2016 when we decided to um, take a focus on the customer specifically from the service practice. So instead of service kind of being like an overhead associated with the product line, what we decided to do is we decided to, to really have something where the focus was on the Indian customer experience and how do we make that consistent across your interaction with Mutual of Omaha. Um, that then led us to reevaluate how we were doing our contact centers and that's when we became involved with, uh, with Roy and Accenture uh, to look at like what are our options to, to really kind of improve that experience for the customer. So when, the, when a customer like you, Mutual of Omaha comes to you, Roy, how, what, with, the, with this business problem, what, uh, how do you walk them through it and have them think about it? Okay, <clears throat> so we you know, typically start at the, uh, the top you know, and understand you know, not only the business strategy, but their current uh, state of their technology architecture. And, and then you try to work through the uh, you know, specific uh, gaps, you know, so gap analysis, what, uh, what are they missing to get them there? Uh, with Mutual of Omaha, it was really they're being held back by their, uh, uh, their legacy uh, on-premise solution. You know, high levels of technical debt, uh, huge complexity to support, maintain, and to, uh, to make the changes. You know, so it was in that analysis, we, it, was, it was easy to see that the cloud was the, you know, probably the best option for them. And did, did Amazon Connect immediately stand out? So um, even initially when we were looking at, uh, at options for this, uh, Amazon Connect wasn't actually even on our list. So that was something that was brought to our attention um, uh, during the sort of uh, shortlisting of candidates process. Uh, and then, you know, when we really looked at it, it just kind of blew our mind. So, you know, Roy had mentioned about um, taking a look at the gap analysis. So, so as um, sort of like embarrassing or sad as this may seem, right, the decision to do something is a lot easier when there are a lot of gaps, and we had a lot of gaps uh, between what we could deliver with our current technology solution and then what really the business strategy uh, outcomes were, were wanting us to do. So it did make uh, a decision to look at um, completely sort of reinventing how we do the contact centers, a lot easier position to consider. Brian, in terms of the nuts and bolts of making Amazon Connect, can you, can you give our viewers a little sense about, about really what is the infrastructure that we're talking about here? I mean, so the interesting thing uh, with Amazon Connect is it's really the, the call center platform and capability that Amazon.com has been using for a number of years and that we decided to commercialize and externalize to customers like Mutual of Omaha. Um, and so like a lot of things with AWS, what's nice about it is that it's, it's you, know, you can start small, you can layer it in and it can integrate into some of the existing technologies and investments that you've made. It's not a rip and replace and then you can scale it as you see success and you can scale it up 
up and down, so it's very economical as well. Um, and so it's an area where we're really excited to see Mutual of Omaha really on the cutting edge there, but we're seeing you know, with Accenture uh, a lot of momentum with this, with this platform in, in insurance, financial services, even as CPG companies become more focused on delivering services, it's changing how they have to interact with customers. So it's, it's a great platform for that, a great starting place. So Amazon, a famously customer-centric company. So what are the kinds of, I mean, you think, oh, customers will, will love this. But in fact, you, you, we were talking before the cameras right. are rolling, there was a little bit of resistance. So, right, so you have to think about like, how do you, how do you introduce um, this type of sort of radical change from what was uh, traditionally just an exclusively a hands-on service process that was um, you know, agents and contact centers with a, uh, a, an audience demographic that is not what you would think of as being like cutting edge in terms of technology adoption. Um, but we found through things like um, paying a lot of attention to our call flow development with Accenture, paying a lot of attention actually to our voice tuning and, and getting the voice of the customer to understand um, like what, uh, what that voice tuning and how well that worked. We were able to actually get a more positive reception for the Connect solution than we even over like professionally recorded voice talent on it. So you, you do have to, you have to address like all of the all of the like customer touch points within the contact center, and think about how do you how do you manage the the change within your uh, within your audience demographic, and how do you how do you manage that adoption? But you know, it's it's your customers, it's your agents. How do you make them comfortable with the solution, right? Because the you know a customer can detect that an agent's uncomfortable with the solution that they're using, right? How do you make this kind of like really seamless? So we took a we took a put a lot of emphasis on customer experience development uh, as part of this. We didn't we we did not take any of our existing call flows and just and just put them in connect. So all of our all of our call flows were re-architected. What are some of the best practices that have emerged? Because he has just pointed out so many of the kind of challenges uh, of implementing this, this new kind of approach and system with both c clients and also the workforce itself. I mean, what would you say, what is sort of your advice and sort of the best practices that have emerged in terms of Mutual Omaha's experience? You know, I think it's really start with the, uh, the desired customer experience th that you want. Mm -hmm. You know, so start with that customer experience, and then with Amazon Connect, uh, you know, Lex, Amazon Web Services, you can you can deliver that uh, th that experience. So start there. Throw out uh, you know the legacy call flows, leg legacy IVR scripts, and start from scratch with you know customer experience at the top of mind, and then you can get there. Yeah, I would I would second that the. Um, because managing change internally, organization like if your focus is exclusively on what the customer experience is, um, that shortcuts a lot of arguments within the organization about what's the right thing to do. Because you know ev everybody tends to kind of suboptimize for whatever their stakeholder perspective is. If you're clearly focused on what the customer is looking for, that actually clarifies a lot what your internal conversations are. How do you three work together in terms of this, this, this tri-partnership, Accenture, AWS, and Mutual of Omaha, how do you <coughs> collaborate? Yeah, so I, I guess first from the partnership perspective, like I talked about, connect and, and, and modernizing customer care is a really big focus area for us as a partnership and a big investment area. So we've worked with Accenture and gotten their teams very much skilled up on the new platform, and they've done a great job of integrating it into their existing practice. So now when we come to a, a customer like Mutual of Omaha, we, you know, Accenture's got a very strong point of view, they've got technology skills behind it, and they know how the solution can solve customer problems. And so that's, that's my job, is to make sure that foundation is there, and then, you know, the team takes it from there, really, with the client. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I would say our experience with, uh, with Amazon around this is they're really very interested in, uh, in the experience that we're having and how we can provide feedback around our particular use cases and understanding, like, what are the types of, um, what are the types of things that would make uh, our stuff more successful. So, um, because we work with a combination of health and life insurance products, things like HIPAA eligibility for services are a big deal for us. And when you look at how the ecosystem is all tied together with Connect, that has really kind of, we've, we've gotten a lot of attention and help from mm -hmm. Amazon with regards to dealing with like HIPAA and compliance issues associated uh, with how we put the solutions together. That's been really helpful for us. I want to talk about the role of empathy uh, in, in this kind of technology because, because as we know, we are dealing, at, dealing with really difficult times in people's lives, that they are, that they are right. in need of these kinds of products and services. So how do you make sure that the, te that, that the technology is taking that into account? 
So, so yeah, that's like an excellent point. So um, we tend to think of financial services products as kind of sort of uh, emotionally neutral or, or cold even, right? Um, but when you're dealing with insurance, and a lot of times you're dealing with people who are calling, they're in a very emotional sort of situation. Um, the uh, One of the things that is really good for that that we... Um, hope to leverage much more in the future is being able to get the transcripts of the conversations out so that we can understand as part using using that data that's coming from the interactions with the Lexbox and understanding that data as the customer works through the call flows to be able to look at how do we continue to improve these uh, around how that customer is responding to it so that we can get to uh, better customer experiences. Um, like again, like it's oftentimes a very highly emotional situation. If you're dealing with like a life claims contact center, you're dealing with somebody who's just recently experienced the loss of a loved one, and the as a result, people's people's patience is really low. They're really stressed. They're facing you know. Our, our demographic is selling final expense policies, and that means that people are facing a lot of financial uncertainty in addition to emotional distress. Right. So being able to being able to take that information and use that to continually tune things for for delightful customer outcomes is really important to us. So what's next for Mutual of Omaha? So. Um, Really, what's next for us is um, we're in the process of major migration of our contact center agents onto it. Um, once that is completed, that allows us to kind of get rid of some existing technology debt with our uh, with our uh, on-premise telephony solution. And then we really start to get into kind of the good stuff, right? So that's like integration with our customer portal, uh, it, taking more advantage of what we want to do from a, from a machine learning and AI perspective with regards to what we can get from the, the call data and the customer uh, the customer interaction, and really starting to, to kind of like make a huge jump in terms of what that uh, customer experience can be. Great, well I look forward to hearing more about it at next year's uh, Executive Summit. <laughs> yeah, it would be great to be back. Great. Jim, Roy, Brian, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having us. I'm Rebecca Knight, we will have more from the AWS Executive Summit and theCUBE's live coverage coming up in just a little bit.